Beginning in the warm desert sands, the story of the Al Nehyan family is a captivating tale that stretches well across time. Did you know that this family controls almost 10% of the world's oil reserves and owns the most expensive fleet of yachts? I'll show you how the Al Nehyan family became billionaires after the discovery of oil in their emirate and how they display their wealth. How did they come to such wealth and opulence? Who are the members of this family and what kind of business are they into? Watch until the end of this video to learn about the humble beginnings of this family and their rise to prominence in Abu Dhabi. Also see how a bloodless coup led to their ascension as top leaders of the emirate and their mission to unite all emirates. From their influence in controlling global oil prices to erecting the most beautiful hotels and owning thousands of luxury cars and the most expensive yachts, we will uncover the wealth of the Al Nehyan family. Is their affluence and power a product of luck or shrewd audacity? Let's find out. Nestled on the southeastern corner of the Arabian Peninsula, the United Arab Emirates emerged as a mosaic of seven emirates, each contributing to the vibrant canvas of this nation. Among them, Abu Dhabi stands as the capital and the focal point of the Al Nehyan family's power. Abu Dhabi, with its gleaming skyscrapers juxtaposed against the timeless desert backdrop, is more than just a city. It's a testament to the vision and strategic leadership of the Al Nehyan family. From the opulent Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque to the futuristic skyline, the influence of the family surely resonates in every corner. The House of Nehyan, also known as Al Nuhayan in Arabic, serves as the ruling royal family of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, standing amongst the six ruling families of the United Arab Emirates. This family constitutes a branch of the House of Al Falahi, itself a branch of the Bani Yas tribe. Notably, they share familial ties with the House of Al Falasi, which gave rise to the ruling family of Dubai, the Al Maktoum. Originally hailing from the Liwa Oasis in the 18th century, the Bani Yas tribe migrated to Abu Dhabi. Their reign over Abu Dhabi commenced in 1793, having previously ruled over Liwa. A history marked by coups saw the overthrow of five rulers and the demise of eight, many of whom were brothers, between 1793 and 1966. The Al Nehyan family exercises control over various sovereign wealth funds, including the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority and Mubadala Investment Company, collectively managing an estimated $1 trillion in assets. The Nahyan dynasty of Bani Yas has governed the region since the 18th century, originally established their seat in Liwa, al -Jiwa, Oasis District. The discovery of potable water wells at the site of present-day Abu Dhabi town in 1761 led to the relocation of their headquarters in 1795. Despite early alliances with the Albu Sayyid clan of Muscat, conflicts arose with the Qasimi dynasty and the Wahhabi of Najd, forebearers of the current ruling dynasty of Saudi Arabia, resulting in unsettled border disputes. While the Nehyan sheikhs primarily controlled inland territories, they engaged in diplomatic agreements sponsored by the British including the General Treaty of Peace in 1820, the Maritime Truce in 1835, and the Perpetual Maritime Truce in 1853. The exclusive agreement of 1892 placed their foreign affairs under British control. Sheikh Zayed ibn Khalifa's rule from 1855 to 1908 marked Abu Dhabi as the premier power of the Trucial Coast. However, in the early 20th century, it was surpassed by Sharjah and Dubai. Amid Britain's proposal to withdraw from the Persian Gulf in 1968, Abu Dhabi, along with other trucial states, Bahrain and Qatar, negotiated to establish a nine-member federation. While the latter two states achieved separate independence in 1971, the United Arab Emirates emerged with Abu Dhabi as a prominent member. The provisional capital status of Abu Dhabi, the city, was extended multiple times until it was officially declared the permanent national capital in the early 1990s. In 1598, geological surveys and exploration activities were conducted in Abu Dhabi, one of the emirates forming the UAE. 
These efforts were part of a broader initiative to identify natural sources in the region. As the exploration efforts showed promising results, agreements and contracts were established with international oil companies to further investigate and develop the discovered oil fields. These agreements often involved partnerships between the ruling family of Abu Dhabi, including members of the Al Nahyan family and foreign oil companies. Subsequent drilling and exploration confirmed the presence of significant oil reserves in Abu Dhabi. This confirmation marked a turning point in the region's economic prospects, as oil was recognized as a valuable resource that could fuel economic development and prosperity. The discovery of oil coincided with a period of transition in Abu Dhabi's leadership, and this marked a turning point in the family, thus leading to the commencement of oil exports in 1962. Initially, this newfound wealth sparked dissatisfaction within the ruling family due to perceived stagnation under Sheikh Shakbut's leadership. Members of the Al Nehyan family, frustrated by the reluctance to invest oil revenue in the Emirates' development, sought British assistance. Their objective was merely to facilitate a bloodless coup, replacing Sheikh Shakbut with Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nehyan as the ruler of Abu Dhabi. This move was driven by the desire for progress and development within the emirate. The Al Nahyan family, particularly Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, recognized the potential of this valuable resource. Under his leadership, the family strategically leveraged oil wealth to fuel a transformative economic agenda. Zayed, the youngest of four sons, was born to Sheikh Sultan bin Khalifa Al Nahyan. His father ruled Abu Dhabi from 1922 until his passing in 1926. Among his siblings, Zayed was the youngest, with his eldest brother, Sheikh Shakbut bin Sultan Al Nahyan, assuming the role of ruler after their uncle, Sakh bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Sheikh Salama bint Buti, their mother, secured a promise from her sons to abstain from violence against each other, a commitment they honored. Zayed was named in homage to his grandfather, Sheikh Zayed bin Khalifa Al Nahyan, also known as Zayed the Great, who governed the Emirate from 1855 to 1909. Born during a period when Abu Dhabi was one of the seventh trucial states along the Persian Gulf's lower coast, Sheikh Zayed developed an early interest in falconry. While some sources claim he was born at Qasr al Hosn in Abu Dhabi, others suggest his birthplace was Al Ain particularly at Sultan bin Zayed's fort on the outskirts of Alain Oasis. After his father's demise in 1926, Zayed relocated from Abu Dhabi to Al Ain in 1927. Growing up in Al Ain, Zayed experienced a lack of modern schools along the coast. His education primarily focused on the fundamental principles of Islam. Living in the desert alongside Bedouin tribesmen, he immersed himself in the people's way of life. Their traditional skills and their remarkable resilience in coping with the harsh climatic conditions of the region. In the late 1960s, Zayed enlisted the services of Katsuiko Takahashi, a Japanese architect, to spearhead the design and planning of Abu Dhabi. Takahashi, executing Zayed's directive, often outlined in the sands with a camel stick, played a pivotal role in creating significant buildings. He also implemented expansive roads, orchestrated the construction of corniches, and contributed to the city's greenery. After Takahashi's departure, Egyptian architect Abdul Rahman Makhruf took over the task of translating Zayed's instructions into city plans and overseeing various infrastructural projects. On December 2, 1971, the various emirates officially came together to form the United Arab Emirates. Before the Union, that is, the formation of the UAE, the region consisted of individual emirates, each with its unique identity and governance. All emirates were, however, under British protection. The Al Nehyan family, primarily rooted in Abu Dhabi, and now being the largest and wealthiest emirate, exercised much influence within their emirate. The decision by the British government to end its protectorate over the Trucial states, the emirates, was what set the stage for their independence. The path to unity was not without hurdles. 
In the early 1960s, there were discussions among the Trucial states about forming a union for mutual benefit and security. However, it was not until the late 1960s that serious efforts towards unity gained momentum. The al Nehyan family recognized the need for collaboration and therefore engaged in meaningful, delicate negotiations with other emirates. In 1968, the British government announced its intention to withdraw from the Gulf region by the end of 1971. This announcement prompted the emirates to accelerate their efforts to form a union. By the end of 1971, the individual emirates concluded treaties with Britain, officially ending the protectorate status. This paved the way for the establishment of fully independent states, and in December 1971, the United Arab Emirates officially came into existence, consolidating the Emirates into a sovereign nation. The Emirates signing the agreement were Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Am al Kuwain, Fujairah, and Ajman. Ras al Khaimah joined the Union shortly afterward, on February 10, 1972. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan, the then ruler of Abu Dhabi and the driving force behind the Union, played a very notable role. His vision extended beyond the political unification. He aspired and wanted to create a nation that prioritized economic development, social welfare, and cultural preservation. Sheikh Zayed's leadership was characterized by a commitment to forming a strong unified identity for the UAE. His ability to navigate the complexities of tribal affiliations and regional dynamics was instrumental in garnering support for the Union. The Al Nehyan family's influence extended beyond Abu Dhabi as Sheikh Zayed embraced a collaborative approach to nation building. Under Sheikh Zayed's guidance, the UAE witnessed an economic transformation. While oil initially catapulted the UAE into economic prominence, the Al Nehyan family understood the importance of diversification. Revenue from oil resources fueled ambitious development projects, establishing the groundwork for a diversified and resilient economy. Initiatives were set in motion to cultivate sectors beyond oil, laying the groundwork for a resilient and multifaceted economy. This foresight shielded the nation from the volatility of global oil markets. The family's strategic vision included investments in infrastructure, education, and healthcare, and all these laid the foundation for the nation's prosperity. The Al Nehyan family controls several sovereign wealth funds, which are large pools of money managed by a government or state-owned entity. The two largest funds, the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority and Mubadala Investment Company, have a combined value of around 1 trillion US dollars. In other words, the Al Nehyan family controls a massive amount of wealth, which it invests in a variety of projects and companies around the world, in a variety of industries and projects. For example, Mubadala has invested in companies like Ferrari, EMI Music Publishing, and Warner Music Group. The Abu Dhabi Investment Authority has invested in everything from real estate to infrastructure to energy and technology. The family's economic vision manifested in ambitious infrastructure projects that have become iconic symbols of progress. From state-of-the-art airports and modern seaports to world-class roads and bridges, these investments have not only facilitated economic growth, but have also positioned the UAE as a global hub for trade and commerce. While the Al Nehyan family has made significant investments to enhance the economic condition of the United Arab Emirates, They've equally established themselves as lavish spenders, showcasing their wealth through multiple avenues. Owning 6% of the world's oil reserves, the Al Nehyan family possesses an extensive portfolio of properties and automobiles that are bound to leave you in awe. At the forefront of their extensive property holdings stands Kwasa Al Watan, the presidential palace of the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi. Valued at $475 million and spanning 380,000 square meters, the palace features a striking facade crafted from white granite and limestone. Internally, it boasts a grand 37-meter-wide dome and a magnificent chandelier composed of 350,000 crystal pieces. Completed in 2017, 
the palace opened its doors to the public in 2019. The Eastern Wing houses a House of Knowledge with artifacts of cultural, religious and political importance, while the Western Wing serves for official meetings. Beyond the Presidential Palace, the Abu Dhabi royal family owns several other palaces globally, including the Chateau Bayon north of Paris. Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nehyan, the former ruler of Abu Dhabi, owned the moniker Landlord of London due to his extensive property holdings across some of England's most affluent neighborhoods. By 2015, reports indicated that the al Nehyan property portfolio ranked just behind the UK royal family in terms of London assets, estimated at nearly 10 billion US dollars. The royal family's opulent lifestyle extends to their presidential fleet, comprising eight aircraft, including an Airbus A320-200 and three Boeing 787-9s. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nehyan's personal collection includes a Boeing 747 valued at $478 million and a Boeing 787 worth $176 million, both equipped to accommodate the entire royal family. While details of the private planes remain undisclosed, such aircraft typically feature luxurious amenities such as multiple cabins, meeting rooms, entertainment spaces, lavish bathrooms and spas. While Jeff Bezos and his rumored fiance Lauren Sanchez recently unveiled their new $500 million super yacht, the Abu Dhabi royal family has surpassed them on several fronts. The family possesses three of the world's top 10 largest yachts, Azam, Blue and Topaz, known as A+. Azam, the largest super yacht globally, was constructed for Sheikh Khalifa. With a length of 590 feet, 180 meters, the yacht accommodates over 100 people and features a golf training room, intricate mother-of-pearl inlay, and a specialized design chandelier that remains steady during the yacht's movements. It took four years and 4,000 people to build this mammoth yacht, known for its speed comparable to a Navy frigate, burning an estimated 13 tons of fuel every hour. The $597 million, 520-foot Blue is the fourth largest yacht globally. Owned by Sheikh Mansour bin Al Zayed Al Nahyan, he also possesses the $660 million A+, which has been borrowed by Leonardo DiCaprio. Rumored to include a dance floor, beach club, gym, wellness center, spa, jacuzzi, steam room, and a beauty salon, a plus is the epitome of luxury. The royal family boasts an extensive fleet of cars displayed across four museums in the United Arab Emirates and Morocco. Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nahyan's personal collection alone comprises over 700 vehicles, including the world's largest SUV, a colossal 10-wheel, 24-ton beast, and a towering 6.4-meter-tall Willis Jeep. Meanwhile, Sheikh Mansour has stakes in Ferrari and Daimler AG, with a luxury car collection featuring five Bugatti Veyrons, a Ferrari 599XX, McLaren MC12, Mercedes-Benz CLK GTR, and a Lamborghini Reventon. The Abu Dhabi United Group, an investment company for the Abu Dhabi Royals, owned by Sheikh Mansour, holds ownership of the English football team Manchester City. Purchased for $255 million from Thaksin Shinawatra, the former Prime Minister of Thailand in September 2008, Adug also has an 81% majority stake in the City Football Group, controlling Manchester City, Mumbai City, Melbourne City and New York City football clubs. The family is credited with opening the Louvre, Abu Dhabi, the largest art museum on the Arabian Peninsula and the only Louvre outside Paris. The museum aims to bridge the gap between Western and Eastern art, featuring a diverse collection, including a sculpture of a Bactrian princess dating back to 3000 BC, Breton Boys Wrestling by Paul Gauguin and Leonardo da Vinci's La Belle Ferronia. Successive generations, including Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan, continued the legacy of visionary governance, 
The family's influence can be seen in the UAE's rapid modernization, global engagements, and a commitment to sustainability. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't hesitate to tap the next button to watch other amazing edutainment.